Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, besties, we are filming my absolute favourite video of the year, which is my back to school supplies for 2021. As you can see here, I've got a little bag of all my stuff for this year. I've gone a little bit overboard. I've actually got quite a lot of stuff in this bag, so it might be a little bit of a long video, I don't know. So today I'm just giving you a huge haul of everything which I have bought for back to school, which for me is year 10. So if you want any context, that is the year I'm going into, which is grade nine in America. Okay, so I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and make sure you give it a like and subscribe down below if you do and let's get straight into the back to school supplies haul 2021 okay so the first thing i have pulled out from the bag is my pencil case which is just a really cute turquoise fluffy pencil case which is from evan alpeters this is such a cute little size because every year i've just gotten a really big pencil case and it's like really not needy it takes up so much space in my bag so this year i've got one a little bit smaller and i bought this badge from a market and it just says on wednesdays we wear pink which is obviously from mean girls it's my favorite mean girls quote by far i've got that cute little pencil case to fit all of my dictionary in for back to school i've got to mention most of this stuff is from Wilco because that's where I get most of my back to school stuff because they have such cute stuff there so most of it is from Wilco but a couple bits of other places because they didn't have everything I wanted okay so the next thing I pulled out are these two little folders which are from Wilco so I've got one purple and one pink they're just really cute little pastel folders I have got quite a few folders already but I wanted a couple more I'm starting my GCSE subjects this year so I need to get lots of folders to like organize my notes and everything each folder just looks like this just has lots of different poly pockets inside where I or like notes and homework and bits like that and then it has a little label card at the front which is really handy yeah so probably will buy a few more into the year but i thought i'd just start off the new year with two yeah i just have these really two cute folders next i have this a4 refill pad which is again from Wilco. these are really good to take notes in so again i probably will get a few more into the year but i thought i'd start off the year with a new one so these are really good because you can just write your notes in and then easily just rip it out and then i will obviously organize it into each folder for each subject for example if this is maths i would do all my maths work on here and then organize it into each folder if that makes sense so that is the next thing in the bag then i have some good old pens i again will probably buy more pens to start the year because i run out of pens so quickly but i just thought we could start off with just a couple for the start of the year and i will buy more when i need more but these pens are so good they make your handwriting look so nice it's called zebra z grip pens and they're actually really pretty as well because they're rose gold as you can see but yeah i've just got a little pack of pens there and i prefer to write in black pen over a blue pen so yeah i've got a little pack of pens then we have got my favorite thing in this whole haul which are highlighters so i've just got a little pack which are from wilco and then just a pack of four pastel highlighters so we have got orange purple pink and like a bluey green sort of color last year i had mild liners but my liners run out so quickly like they were literally not even a couple months in and they'd run out so i was gonna get your classic like stay blow sabillo highlighters but they're really chunky and i've got a smaller pencil case this year so I wanted to get some thinner ones so that they would be easier to fit into my pencil case. Uh, so yeah, I've just got these four little pastel highlighters, which are from Wilco. I think I already mentioned that, but yeah. I honestly am that girl that highlights everything. I highlight every single note, every single book, everything. All my titles all highlighted because I love making my work look all fancy and colourful. It's my absolute favourite thing, making stuff look pretty. So highlighters are an absolute essential for me. So obviously I had to get some really cute pastel highlighters. I use them for homework, for note taking, revision and just my schoolwork in general so these were an absolute essential then i have these paper mate ink joy pens uh so there's a range of colors in here there's like black orange green blues pinks red and purple and what i like to do with these is i use them for like subtitles and stuff uh so i will highlight my main title in a highlighter and then i will write in a matching color for example if i'm using this purple highlighter i would then use a purple pen for subtitles and key info and stuff like that so again colored pens are an essential to make my notes look all fancy and everything so i just have a pack of paper mate ink joy pens next i just have a little pack of scissors because my ones from last year are from snuggle i've had them for like five years now since year five and they're a bit rusty and stuff so so i needed a new pair and these are just a bit basic they're from tesco and they're just like black small mini scissors because i don't want to get anything big and chunky because again i have got a smaller pencil case this year so i want everything to be quite mini and small so i've just got a pair of scissors for all my cutting out and things 
things like that. Next, I have a pack of flashcards because obviously I'm going into GCSEs this year and last year I was already using flashcards a lot. So I thought I'd just get a pack of flashcards. I think there's actually another pack in there somewhere. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I got a pack from Wilco and then a pack from Tesco because I bought one from Wilco and I thought maybe I should just buy two. I definitely probably will be buying more throughout the year, but I just thought I'd start the year off with two packs of flashcards. These are really good for revision just for like writing down questions and the answer on the back to try and memorize stuff. So these are an essential for me, especially for GCSEs. Next, I have some tip -X, but I have a cool tip -X because I don't really like the like the inky ones, which like you have to wait to dry and stuff because they're so impractical and I make mistakes all the time in writing. So I just got like a little pocket mouse one. Basically, you write something and then you just kind of like go across it and it dries in like a second. It's just like a little tape strip of tip -X. It's so good. And these are honestly the best tip -X things you can get because you can write on it almost immediately. So again, this is another absolute essential for me, a little pocket mouse of tip -X. Okay, next I have a sharpener. It's just a little plain like maped one. Um, Usually I like to have the ones which have a rubber and a sharpener on each end, but in Wilco and in Tesco, they didn't have any. So, so I just had to get a separate sharpener to a rubber. So, so that brings us nicely into the next thing, which, which are just these two plain Helix rubbers. There's nothing really special to these. They're just little rubbers, mostly just for drawings and diagrams, things like that. So I've just got two little rubbers and a sharpener to go with it. I am quite annoyed that I couldn't get a sharpener rubber thing, but they just had none. So I had to just kind of deal with this, but yeah, I've got that next. Then I've just got this Helix Oxford ruler and this is one of the ones which snap over. So, so I prefer to have a 30 centimeters ruler, but I don't want like one that's just kind of long and, and I don't really like the flexible rulers that much. So every year I get one of these snappy ones. So it just kind of snaps in half and so it stores as 15 centimeters, but it's actually 30, which is really good. So I definitely recommend these rulers. They are really good. Next, I have got this glue stick, just a plain little print stick, but I've got like a fancy recyclable one. It's usually no particular reason but i just love a good print stick this one is a bit slimmer it's not mini or anything but it's just like a slimmer version so again it will fit easier in my pencil case so i've just got a cutesy little print stick this isn't really stationary but i've just picked up a little lip balm for school because lip balm is an absolute essential and a what's in my school bag will be coming very soon where i feature more little things like this as well so stay tuned for that video that'll be my next video actually so stay tuned for that just a random little lip balm which i got from wilco it's a bit tinted as well so it's a bit lip glossy and so yeah i got a little lip balm because my lips get so dry, especially in winter. And the worst thing is sitting in a classroom in winter with dry lips and no lip balm. It is my biggest fear. So I have to make sure I have a lip balm everywhere with me. We're actually onto the last two things in my bag, which are these two cute little notebooks from Card Factory. They're just little mini ones. So there's a little turquoise one here, which has like little black lines all over it. And it says notes in gold. And then we have this pink one, which just says, here comes the sun. There's nothing special to them really. They're just little lined notebooks. These aren't really necessary for school but they are just two little cute notebooks i'll probably keep them on my desk at home or something um but yeah i just got two little cute notebooks from card factory just to kind of add to my notebook collection because i am a hardcore notebook collector i love a good notebook so yeah i just got these two little mini notebooks from card factory and that in fact is everything in my little bag so that is the end of today's video and that is my back to school supplies haul 2021 again i am so excited for back to school content so stay tuned for more videos my next one is going to be a what's in my school bag 2021 so stay tuned for that as well and yeah so so yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed don't forget to give it a like if you did it really helps me out and don't forget to subscribe because we're getting closer to 4k which is honestly so exciting um so yeah so that concludes today's video so hopefully i will see you guys in my next one bye